What is going on everybody, welcome back to a new video, today we are back with some more LS Media Farm. My name is Albi1125 and we're going to be patrolling in the Volvo V60 by Bleep999 modifications. And this is the first British vehicle I am going to be using that supports ELS. So let's just take a look at it quickly, it has a very nice interior as you can see, really good job on this uh, Bleep. Really like that. And then obviously we've got the very nice outside as well, looks great, Metropolitan Police, all looking very good. And then we've got a little ELS UI, and um, as you can see, we can get rear reds on, and we don't get any blues, and then we can turn on our full sirens, and we also get blue lights there as well. So uh, yeah, really good job on this Bleep 999, he's done a very good job on this to get this out so quickly after ELS was released, and I'm really looking forward to using it, to be honest. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get out on patrol. So we're now going to be on the highway and as we can see we have this very nice visuals by Make Visuals Grey again which is my competence and we seem to have a vehicle that is tailgating that little smart car up there. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to initiate a traffic stop and what I'm going to do is I've got my blues now to pull him over and he made that very illegal uh, lane change there. That was weird. Uh, anyway, I've got my blues to pull him over and we're going to try and get him over on this uh, off ramp without hitting a vehicle hopefully. That was pretty alright actually. It didn't hit anything. So let's just try getting him up a little bit further. As you can see, we still have both our blue and our red lights on. So let's just get him up over onto this side of the road. There we go. We're going to stop mimicking him now. And what we can do is we can uh, activate just our red lights. Isn't that cool? And we can change the pattern as well. So we can have it on this, which uh, really allows traffic behind us to see that we are doing a pullover. So uh, let's just run a play check on this vehicle. It's going to be a Granger 00 Hotel Delta Oscar 252. Let's see if we can get anything back on that. Zero, zero, Henry, David, Ocean, two, five, two, no, 1099. It's going to be registered to a Gonzalez Bandito, so let's see if we can get any info on this driver. Good evening, sir. I pulled you over today because you were tailgating that smart car right up there in front of you. Um, have you got any identification for me, please? Hey. Let's see if we can get any ID of him. And it actually is going to be the registered owner. All right, Gonzalez, you can just bear with me for a second. I'm just going to bring your name. Gonzalez Bandito. And he seems to be on six points already, which is not very good. He does have a full license, so he does appear to be checking out um, in that term. Um, right, Mr. Bandito, I'm going to ask you have you had any, anything to drink today? You've got such a headache, you say. Mm, that's not good. Have you taken any drugs recently? No? Okay. And because the answer you've given me, and because you've committed a traffic offence, I'm just going to require you to provide me with this specimen of breath, okay? So you can just blow into that tube for me. Thank you very much. Ooh, and he failed to provide a valid breath sample. Right, so I'm going to give you one more chance. If you don't uh, provide a valid breath sample, that lenders you liable to prosecution. Um, so please try and provide. Keep blowing, keep blowing, keep blowing, keep blowing, keep blowing, keep blowing. No, he's going to fail to provide. Okay, sir. Unfortunately, that means you're going to be under arrest for needing to provide a breath sample. No, 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 no. Stay here. Right, come over here. Stop there for me, please, sir. What, 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 what? Don't run. Don't run. Come on. Yeah, you're under arrest for failing to provide a valid breath sample. You don't have to say anything. You may harm your defense if you do not mention when questioned. Something which you will let you in court. Anything you do say, maybe give him evidence. Right, let's get him a uh, seat in the car. In the car, please. Thank you very much. And our reds are, is, are really alerting the traffic behind us that we are on a traffic stop here. Look at them driving around this car very nicely, not coming too close, and pretty much just respecting our presence over here. It was really cool. I really like how they've done that over at uh, ELS. So, of course, if you haven't actually seen, ELS is now actually released. So there's going to be a link in the description to the ELS download if you want to try it out. And there's also going to be um, some vehicles in the download link as well. So there's going to be an American vehicle, and obviously there's going to be this vehicle by Leap 999, which is a really good vehicle, I really like that. Anyway, let's just get our vehicle out of the road a little bit more, and uh, roll a prisoner transport unit to come and get uh, our suspect. Suspect placed under arrest on uh, Del Perro Freeway. Ocean 1, we can get that. Roger. Oh, and actually, the transport unit seems to be up over on the highway. Let's see if we can get him up here. Come on then. Come on then. Is he going to come up here? I think he's having a little bit of trouble, isn't he? Right, another cool... Th there we go. There he comes. Another cool feature about ELS is that we actually have the uh, 999 thing in the UI in the bottom right. So if you're a European player, or a British player rather, uh, you can get this uh, UI. You just change the um, ECF file for your vehicle for which you want it. 
and your UI will have a 999 button and you also won't have to press the J key three times. As you can see I just press the J key once and then I can activate my siren. So you don't have to press it three times. So that is a bit more realistic for us European users anyway. With that drink driver in custody, we are going to be back on patrol, we're going to be state 2, and we're going to be looking for further calls and further traffic offences. Looks like we've got quite a lot of vehicles parked up over here. Hmm. Don't really like that, but we're not parking enforcement, so uh, we can't really do too much about that. Let's just try setting our thing to a slightly different pattern as well. I think I really like pattern 30, about the uh, or 33 rather, of the uh, red lights. So that's this pattern. I really like that for traffic stops. That really provides that little bit of consistency. Whoa! Traffic collision. And it looks like that guy was running the red. Right. Come on then. I'm just going to reverse myself around in a very weird way. Come on. Come on. Yep. Yeah. You're going to get pulled over. Though of course you can also have just your blues running, as you can see right now. You can also change the pattern of these. So that you've got that pattern. You've got that pattern. You've got this pattern. You've got... Basically you've got 99 patterns that you can use in blue lights as well, which is really, really cool. And Bleep999 has done a great job at adapting his vehicle so quickly for the uh, whole ELS thing, which I really do like. So uh, we got pulled over now, don't need our blue lights anymore, let's activate our reds. We are on a pullover, got our static reds behind us, so traffic knows. And let's run a play check on this vehicle up in front, who uh, ran the red and caused a collision. 6-4, uh, November Hotel Delta 550, it's going to be. Six, four, Nora, Henry, David, five, five, zero. A traffic violation. Proceed with caution. Right, so it's going to be registered to a Sam Johnson. That's all going to be good. We're going to have a word with the driver and see what he has to say for himself. Hello, sir. How are you today? Oh, I also see you've got a smashed uh, windshield down. I pulled you over today because um, you just had an accident and I think you're around the red. And get your ID with you, please, sir. It's going to be Sam Johnson. Okay, Sam, you can just play with me for a second. It's going to ring your name. Sam Johnson. There we go. Hello there. Yo, hey. Gonna be on nine points already. Right, Sam. Uh, have you had anything to drink today? You want your lawyer? Okay. Any drugs? No. Okay. Well, because you just had a road traffic collision, it's gonna ask you to provide me with a sample of breath. Okay. You can just keep blowing into that. Thank you. Oh, he has had a bit of drink, but he's not over the limit, so uh, that's okay then. Um, right, Sam, obviously I can't really allow you to drive your vehicle out of here. You've got a smashed windshield. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be seizing your vehicle. And I'm going to be summoning you to court for an automatic traffic signal offence, which is basically the red light thing. So let's issue um, Mr. Johnson with a court summons over here. Um, and what's probably going to happen, Sam, is that you're going to be disqualified because you're going to hit the 12 point mark. So you lose your licence for half a year. Okay. So uh, yeah, when you do get it back, make sure you drive a bit more safely. You can pick up your vehicle from the impound uh, once you do get it fixed at your own cost, of course. Towing fees are going to be £150. Oh pounds. Are you blind? And I'll, uh, you know what, I'll call you a taxi, because I'm nice. So you don't have to walk home. Okay. So let's get a taxi up uh, over here for Mr. Johnson. And uh, yeah, well, that's, uh, that's going to be dealt with. So also I've got a lot of new British vehicles in my uh, game, also a lot of new British pets. This is a model by Amateur Modder, which he's done a really good job on. As you can see, we've also got now the British Taxi. Uh, major thank you to Festival Matt for helping me get all these vehicles installed properly. I really, uh, really is appreciated, man, so thank you very much for that. Right, with that being said, we can turn off our reds. We are going to be merging back into traffic and we'll be looking for other things to do. Slate 2, back on patrol. So in case you were wondering where is this vehicle uh, used, apparently this vehicle was once used in the Met Police, and I believe it still is in the uh, Westminster area, um, but it has been mostly replaced in favour of uh, BMWs, because BMWs are a little bit uh, heavier. So this vehicle was a bit light, is uh, what I read. We seem to have get, we seem to be getting reports of a uh, assault on a civilian. We're going to be going over there on the uh, I grade, going to be going on just my blues, not my reds. Um, because that's how police respond in the UK, just the blues. Reds are only for if you're like standing still somewhere. It looks like it's going to be up over here on our left. We just got a report of a assault in progress up over here. So let's just shut off our siren. And uh, oh, actually it could have turned on my reds there. But anyway, we just need to get up over here as soon as we possibly can. Right, hang on. Guys, what's up? Hello? Hello? Is there anything going on here? 
Oh, actually, we've got an injured person. Are we going to need EMS over as soon as we possibly can? Are we going to get an ambulance out from the uh, Mount Zona Medical Center? And uh, did I see a few suspects running out from here? You, sir. I saw you coming out from there. Actually, the suspect could have gone anywhere, couldn't they? So, have you seen anything uh, by any chance? Do you see anyone get a hit there? Because I can't really find any kind of suspect here, so that's a little bit difficult for me. Which is obviously quite realistic as well. I really like this uh, style of ambient event uh, thing that you can deal with in LSBFR. You got really got to be on your toes, and as you see, I wasn't really quick enough, so the suspect managed to get away. All we can really do now is hope that um, I hope that this person can get revived. Oh, yeah, we can hope that this person can get revived. <laughs> Not sure what happened there. Um, hopefully, he can tell us a bit more about what happened here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn on the red lights on my vehicle and I'm going to be moving my vehicle out of the way a little bit. Obviously we're blocking traffic a bit as you can see. Let's turn on our reds there and let's move up over here. That would be a bit better for traffic wouldn't it? Yeah that's better. Let's Actually let's turn off our blues. Let's just have our reds. That will be cool. Right meanwhile hopefully the uh, paramedic We'll have made some progress in getting this person back up. You betcha. Any hopes? Oh yes, look at that. Yes, is he? Yes, he seems to be coming up. There we go. So, right, you're going to be taken into a hospital. Okay. Uh, can you tell me anything about what happened? Yeah, you got assaulted by a person. Yeah, I know. Um, do you know the name of that person by any chance? Right, if you um. If you'd like to contact an officer, we'll be around with you at the hospital about it once you get yourself patched up. Uh, we'll be able to take a complaint and deal with this uh, incident. Unfortunately, we didn't manage to catch anyone in the act, um, but I'm glad we did manage to get you revived. So yeah, if you can get into the back of the ambulance, and um, I hope you I hope you have a speedy recovery, sir. So. Is that going to be okay, uh, paramedic? Yep, seems to be all good. We will be um, back into our car, we will be back on patrol, stay too. Alright guys, with that being said, thank you very much for watching this video. It was a little bit shorter than normal because I had a few issues in my game, but they all managed to get fixed, so thank you very much Festival Matt for that again. Um, I hope you enjoyed this patrol. If you'd like the car, the download link will be down below. If you enjoyed the patrol, please leave a like. If you'd like to see future content and future modding content, please consider subscribing as well. And I will see you all in the next video.